What's good everybody? This is my Pelican 1510 carry-on case. It does its job. It's a solid piece of gear. As you can see, mine is pretty beaten up. It's pretty dirty. I've used it for about a year and a half and I have some pretty cool stickers on it if I say so myself. I love this case. It's my first, you know, hard carry-on case for my camera equipment. It does its job. I haven't had any complaints about it. Again, it's been pretty beaten up. I've gone to a couple different countries in the past year for, for work and filming, and I've been pretty satisfied with it. However, I feel like I was duped when I went with the 1510 and the track pack insert as you can see right here i think the track pack insert when you look at youtube videos or online reviews you just get this idea that it's the most customizable and sturdiest insert that you can get for a carry-on case however i think that's just not the case uh, no pun intended once you make these inserts these cuts if you will for the track pack insert you're pretty much stuck to this configuration unless you buy more track pack um liners and they're not cheap so if your gear evolves if you add different lenses if you add different you know pieces of gear to your kit you're pretty much just not able to make it work anymore and you have to just bring other bags and again you have this foam insert which you know it does its job it protects the the top lining so with the 1510 as you can see right here the way you open it is you just lift it up and your case is ready to be open and that's great but it doesn't add that extra peace of mind that if something were to happen this rolls down a hill if someone didn't close it properly it's going to be easy to just spill everything and now you're in a bind because you have thousands of dollars inside your camera case and also what i don't like about it is this right here um it's just a feature that i feel like it's a bit outdated and you know we can do something better with that so here is the nanook 935 first off this thing looks incredible um just the the shape of it the mold of it it just looks pretty badass in my opinion um it has a really really sturdy handle here that it doesn't flop around so it's not making noise if you have to move it from one side of the set to the other also for the handle it's a small feature but those little details matter you're able to just lift the handle with the push of this button which i think is really nice also this top holder right here doesn't flop around like the pelican 1510 and then i think this is where the money really is which is that extra security layer to lock in your case so you have to you can't flip it open you see it's pretty pretty stuck so you have to push down lift up and then do that so push down lift up and then bring this whole thing up and then voila you're inside once you open it first thing you notice is a lid organizer i think this is just an incredible feature that i wish i knew about with my pelican 1510 i ordered a third party one because the one that pelican sells i put up right here it just looks like the cheapest thing they could have came up with to sell you for $40. But here you have an incredible lid organizer. This acts exactly like what I have in my Pelican 1510 case, which is a Think Tank organizer bag. I'm able to fit cables, I'm able to fit batteries, maybe Allen keys, different wrenches, whatever kind of tool or accessory I need, I'm able to visibly see immediately and know I don't have to worry and look around and have an extra little bag in my, t in my case. And then again, you have this beautiful extra giant compartment which you can fit a laptop so now i don't have to carry my laptop on my backpack so if i want to monitor using my laptop if i want to dump footage immediately right away i can just do it on top of the case just pull my laptop out and boom and the new macbook pros are a little bit heavier so that's gonna just take strain off of your back and he we're here to be physically fit and be able to do our job we don't want to be adding more weight to our, our shoulders so i think this is just worth the money having this lid organizer so let me open this up I went with the lid organizer. Again, I don't think I need a Trek Pack insert, and now I'm able to move around all these mesh um, dividers, which I think do just as great of a job of protecting my equipment because that's what you use in most backpacks and they do a good job so having a track pack insert that's expensive and then just doesn't allow you to customize i think it's not worth it in my opinion so you can see i have my g master 24 to 70 um it just fits perfectly right here or i could just you know throw it with one of these and make it sideways if i want strap it on and now it's safe and protected uh, i think this case is built just very very well it's designed for uh professionals you can see the details that they've thought of that you know will work really well for our profession our industry so i think the lid organizer is just a must-have um if you have a carry-on case again you're gonna be able to put your laptop here 
you're gonna put all your cables all your small accessories that we use all the time and make a big difference on set because if you forget a specific allen key or you forget a core thread mounting plate or a, a top handle those are the little things that really make a difference on set when you're building on your rig and you might not be able to accomplish the job that you set out to do just because of a small little accessory so here you're gonna be able to just nicely organize them and have all this space just be dedicated to camera equipment so yeah i can just place my 24 to 70 right here I have my Pelican um, memory card case that is always full of different memory cards. I can slide that right here if I want. If I open this uh, little nice lid organizer, I can use this specifically for batteries so that doesn't take up space in the case itself. I mean, this is already <laughs> game changing. Boom. I know that this compartment has my batteries. They're fully charged. When I go and swap a battery, I know exactly where to go and I don't have to worry about like, is this one charged? Do I have to put it in a different pocket so it doesn't, you know, um, confuse me? Just to give you a little bit of context of the gear that I'm gonna be fitting in is the Nuke 935. I film with a Sony a7S III, which I'm filming with right now. That's my filmmaking kit. I have a Tilta Pro Kit cage on the camera, so it takes up a little bit extra space. I have a top handle, I have a side handle. Main lens that I only ever bring is my 24 to 70. Um, I just have that documentary style where I'm running and gunning and this does every single thing that I need. If I ever need a prime lens or I just need a specific lens for a specific look, then I'll rent it or I'll throw on one of my vintage lenses. I can put a pot of equipment here. I have a big USB-C cable to charge or to plug into some type of power. Fits perfectly. So let's close this up, see how that looks. Woo, not a single issue. So again, even to lock it, again, after you've unlocked it, even to lock it, you have to press this button down and boom. So press it down and then you're able to get up here and close it. So this, I guess, just gives you a little bit of extra peace of mind just to show you what it looks like standing up. It's a really, really good looking case. So this is my new carry-on case and a new 935 and this is my Pelican 1510 that I've had for a year and a half and it's held up like a champ. Nothing has broken. All the wheels work. Uh, it's been through multiple airports, multiple trips. Here's the back. Again, it has like this nice design that houses the, the, the retractable handle. So obviously exterior aesthetics and design are not the most important feature when you're thinking of a carry-on case that's gonna protect your equipment. But again, the little details of design they did implement, I think make a big difference between the 1510 and the new 935. And basically I'm not getting rid of my 1510. That's gonna be my daily carry-on case for local gigs that I'm doing where I'm just traveling, putting it in my car, and I'm going to commercial shoots or small mini dock shoots that, again, I'm not flying with. That way, this preserves the lifespan of this Nanu 935. I'm gonna be using this Nanu 935 specifically just for traveling. So I plan on doing a lot of traveling next year to doing my own personal shoots that I'm investing in, short films, travel style, cinematic films. And again, I just want something that fits everything. It looks really nice again, because I am going to be traveling. You never know who might just notice your case. I'm going to put stickers all over it. So there you go, the new 935 versus the 1510. I hope this video was valuable to you and showed you just the differences of the 1510 compared to the new 935. If you're on the market for your first or a new carry-on case for your camera equipment or just tools in general, I highly recommend the new 935. Those added features for the lock system are very, very uh, important. The way that you're able to retract the hand at the top with that button it's a small detail but it makes a big difference and, and again this laptop sleeve with the lid organizers and all the padded inserts that you're able to customize very easily I think makes this case very very competitive to the 1510 I'm glad I picked this up and I'm gonna be using it so much for my travels next year if you're interested in the new 935 highly recommend it I'll have a link below for you to check out it is an affiliate link and if you are interested in the 1510 I have an affiliate link for that one as well because I'm not getting rid of mine like I said I'm still gonna be using it almost every single day when I'm shooting locally. So I hope this video was valuable. Thank you for watching. Next video that I'm gonna be doing is my Sony a7S III filmmaking kit and what's in my carry-on in a new 935 case, just to show you my minimal setup that I'm gonna be using for a lot of travels next year. And hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.